So, this is home. A little spare, don't you think? Thought I'd have more dancing girls? <laughs> now there's a thought. I'm just saying maybe you should consider conserving ammo and installing seats with upholstery. Think about it. I got better things to spend my credits on than your comfort. I forget you legit types are always strapped for cash. We can't all be fabulously wealthy criminal masterminds, but this bounty hunting gig seems straightforward enough. Besides, I like the idea of doing the chasing for a change, even if I am slumming it. Oh, it's good to relax. This is as close as I'm getting to it these days. Everyone has limits. Are you kidding? I'm in my prime. I'm talking about trying to unwind here. I mean, really unwind. It's unsettling. I've spent so long keeping one step ahead of somebody, I can't believe I've lost them for good. At least when I'm out with you, I usually know where the blaster fire's coming from. Keeps my mind off trouble, mostly. The less time you and Trouble spend together, the better. You've got a marvelously camouflaged sense of humor, you know that? Let's see how easily you brush off your old instincts and catch 40 winks after you've spent 30 years bounty hunting. I knew you were a career scoundrel, but 30 years on the run? Pretty impressive. Things weren't so bad until people finally realized the same guy was responsible for most of their woes. And I've made some enemies over the years, believe me. Two and a half dozen Hutt families, the entire Carillion Exchange. And there was that whole blockade incident that ran the Mandalorians home with their tails between their legs. Come on, I think I've had my fill of all this cheering up. You know, you're pretty quick to sniff out an opportunity for profit. I like to think I know my business. Oh, there's no doubt about that. I wonder how much more lucrative our little partnership could be if you applied that intuition to something other than bounty hunting. Gave up trying to make an honest living already? I was looking for a fresh start with this little arrangement, not a career change. My abundance of skills and expertise are always at your disposal. It just so happens that most of my expertise is in crime. Mull it over. I hate to see so much potential go to waste. I've been thinking it over, and I see a lot of room for improvement maximizing your profits. Take catching me, for example. Sure, you got a nice bounty from the Great Hunt, but why stop there? You just need to use a little imagination. And what did your imagination come up with? A few words in the right ears, and you could make a lot of money on poor Tiresias' remains. If you don't mind double-crossing crime lords. Offer the body, see who bites, rob them blind. <laughs> Couldn't be simpler. Are all your schemes this blunt? It's not the most elaborate con, but you're new at this. Besides, the scams are a lot less risky when you know you can vaporize anyone in the room. So, that suggestion I had involving my duplicate? Turns out there are a lot of folks out there who've still got a bone to pick with the late Tiresias Loci. A little friendly competition couldn't hurt our final take. I'm thinking an auction would do the trick. I'm open to anything that'll boost our profits. That's just what I wanted to hear. Give me some time off the ship and I can handle the whole thing by proxy. The only finger you'll have to lift will be the one accepting your credit transfer. Take as long as you need. I'll be back before you know it. What? No parade? Oh, not even a cake? How oh, about at least mustering a good to see you for the guy holding your share of the credits? I take it the auction went to plan. I don't know whether to be flattered by the numbers. You're cut. Pretty good take, considering the expenses. 
The bitters really couldn't wait to take Tiresias off our hands. I didn't expect much to come of this. I know you didn't, which, if you'll recall, was my point from the start. You might say I've got some experience duping these suckers. Three pirate crews, ten free traders, two exchange bosses, half a dozen huts, one I don't even remember crossing. Kept licking his lips, and I think his name was Druga. It was quite the rogues gallery. A lot of familiar faces. Brought back memories, let me tell you. You'll be pleased to hear I finished fencing those little Alderanian trinkets that came into our possession. Made a nice sum, even with the rush. You're really starting to prove your worth. Oh, I'm gonna have to teach you a thing or two about compliments and flattery. Have I mentioned how much pulling that little con has improved my mood? I think that auction put to bed any lingering doubts that Tiresias is dead and gone. And aside from knowing my new identity on a stick, I'd almost forgotten how much I love a good scheme. Fun and profit. What's not to like? Getting shot at, for one, but working with you has made that pretty commonplace. It's hard to work a proper hustle when you're on the run, chum. I've pulled more heists than cons in recent memory. That was the kind of racket my former partner preferred. Simple, bold, effective. He used to argue about that a lot. You had other preferences. Armed robbery is one of the few things I enjoy in moderation. My preference is to be long gone by the time anyone gets wise. That's a lot easier without bounty hunters breathing down my neck. It's about time I got back in the game. Can't afford to let myself get out of practice, after all. Let me tell you a little thing about opportunity. Enlighten me. Sometimes, when it knocks, you put it away for a rainy day. Take this group of fresh-off-the-shuttle Arcona I met at the Mossila spaceport before you showed up. I left those Arcona with a stellar impression of Geller rowing, helpful merchant, and earmarked them for a return trip once things died down. What makes them good marks? You know why they were traveling to a dump like Tatooine? Seems fresh water's hard to come by on Kona. These rubes heard about moisture farming on Tatooine and figured it was their ticket to riches. Fleecing these yokels will be like taking candy from a baby. The key is finding the right scheme. You really enjoy seeing what you can get away with, don't you? Surely a Mandalorian can appreciate testing one's limits. Moisture farmers aren't exactly rolling in credits, but a whole colony of them can add up. Remember those Arcona colonists I was telling you about? Well, I've got the perfect racket to skim a little profit off those moisture farming saps. Salt. As in table salt? Well, I'm not talking bath salts, considering water is a luxury good. Listen, I've got a theory. I used to know this spacey Arconan bagman back on Nar Shaddaa. Thought the guy was a spice head for the longest time. Turns out I was only half right. This guy's cravings were something else. Your friend had some sort of reaction. Can't say for certain, but I've got my suspicions. One night, after making our handoff in some dive diner, he orders some garbage soup and dumps an entire shaker of salt into the bowl. Should have seen the way this guy went at the stuff before stumbling out of the place like it's last call. Your money's on these colonists having the same craving. Ten to one says there's something about salt that those wedgeheads can't resist. We're gonna sell those colonists the answer to all their woes, specially formulated and offered exclusively through rowing industries. If I'm right about how much Arcona love the stuff, our biggest problem will be keeping up the supply. Meet our new product. Had our salt shipment bottled as special tablets to help organics retain water. Now we just need to seal the deal. I want you with me when our prospective buyer calls. Keep him from getting too comfortable. 
We'll be meeting an Arcona named Gruna to convince him to act as our supplier to the colony. I thought you were gonna be the supplier. Unless you want to start making regular trips to the middle of nowhere, we need a middleman. This chump would do anything for enough credits to get off Tatooine. I don't think it'll take much to get poor Gruna to bite. Gruna, good to hear from you. Looking well. Lose some weight. Oh, him? Never mind him. Had to let go of my last security detail in favor of this one. Consummate professional. Say hello. Manners aren't part of the job description, you understand. You know, Gruna, I'm a bit of a philanthropist. Did I mention that? No, Jabban. My visit to Tatooine left me inspired by the plight of rugged folks like yourself trying to squeeze life out of that dust bowl. Making life easier for the little guy, that's my motto. And helping you hardworking souls is now my personal mission. He'll put himself in the poorhouse if that's what it takes. My associate worries too much. My friend Gruna and his pals wouldn't leave me holding the bag. There'll be plenty of prosperity to go round. The top chemists at Rowing Industries developed this little wonder for us. A compound designed to maximize water retention in organic life forms. The benefit to hard-working subsistence farmers such as yourself is immeasurable. It's a better plan for your savings than investing in this garbage. This is lower than I'm willing to sink, Galt. Sir, in Pankia, does he meet Viano? I must be having some kind of flashback. <laughs> Can't find decent help these days. Just uh, let me handle my associate and we'll finish our business. Snap out of it, buddy. It's Geller, Geller Rowing, your boss. Don't mess this up. We're better than this. And I thought you might be too ruthless for this business. I can't even begin to express my disappointment. Looks like I'm sending you the whole shipment, free of charge. Choke on it. Just so we're clear, me talking to you doesn't mean I'm not still irked about that last job. You didn't lose much on it. Yeah, yeah, I said I was irked, not that I was gonna steal your firstborn. I think it's fair to say you owe me another go, and not just anything. I'm talking about a big score. I'm sure I can think of something that won't upset your precious sensibilities. Notice anything different? You should lay off the junk food. Hmm, and they said this stuff was slimming. Just acquired some nice form-fitting blast armor. Thought I'd see if it would stand up to a trained eye. Apparently so, if your observation is any indication. The equipment I'm providing not cutting it? No complaints. This is purely supplemental. Since I'm still putting myself in harm's way, I decided to make a little investment in my well-being. Been stocking up on interesting tidbits at every port we've hit. From here on, I'm ready for anything. So, what do you know about Hilo Viz? Uh, I've heard the name. She was some big time spacer, wasn't she? Ah, you could put it that way if you're partial to understatement. She broke the Mandalorian blockade at the Hidian Way. You know, the one that strangled Coruscant and dashed a full scale Jedi assault. And it wasn't out of the goodness of her heart, either. Credits were involved. A lot of them. I bet more than a few people would be willing to pay to have a word with her. That'd be difficult to deliver, considering she's dead. Anyone asking about Hilo isn't looking for a chat. Most think the Huts were behind Hilo's disappearance, but anyone who knew her could tell you they'd have better odds winning a marathon. 
No, she's still out there. Somewhere. Not to mention her credits. Oh, that isn't exactly the case. Hilo was my old partner. More than that. That blockade run was the last thing we ever did together. Like I said, a lot of credits were involved. When I saw the opportunity, I took off and left Hilo holding the bag. Stupid. Is that a conscience showing? I don't know, maybe. It was a dumb move I regret making. Listen, I found out that an old associate from that blockade run is still around and kicking. A mutual acquaintance. I owe Hilo one last visit. If he knows where she's been laying low all this time, I've got to track him down. I caught up with that old associate from the blockade run. Old Quan and I had a nice little chat. He was surprised to see me, to say the least. Can you trust him to keep quiet about your new identity? Oh, I'd say he'll remain mum on the subject indefinitely. Don't give me that look, I bought his last round. Before I had to end Quan's retirement prematurely, I convinced him to fill me in on some gaps in our history since the blockade run. When the Huts came looking for their return investment, Hilo Viz smuggled herself off to Republic Space with the help of another free trader. That definitely increases her odds of being alive. I'm not so sure, given where she was headed. Remember Zale Barrows? She got a deal with that twerp to hide her on Del Savas. If she's still stuck there, this is my chance to swoop into the rescue. I've got to go after her. If it means this much to you, count me in. This is personal. A little too personal. I've got to take care of this on my own. If I don't make it, well, thanks. I don't think Tiresias would have ever gotten this opportunity. When did you get back? Oh, a little while ago. I wasn't exactly in a talkative mood. My little pipe dream involving Hilo went about as you'd have expected. Didn't find her? No, I found her. After all these years, I finally caught up with her and she hadn't changed a bit. I found her on Bel Savas in some sort of stasis chamber. It was like I just left. At least she didn't have time to nurse an old grudge. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, regardless, it wasn't pretty. If she'd had a blaster, she'd have shot me the moment she came to. Lucky for me, she recognized that prison wasn't the place to hash things out. She took off the first chance she got. Hardly the reunion I was looking for, but I got her out of that pit. That counts for something, right? She'd have been stuck down there forever if you hadn't. She deserved better than that. Hey, who needs love anyway? <laughs> Thanks. If you'll excuse me, I need to create a hangover to nurse. You're not gonna believe this. I heard from Hilo. She's willing to take me back if I'm willing to show she means more to me than me. Sent the message certified, credits on delivery. Oof, almost cleaned me out just to have it delivered. She's nobody's fool. Never was. If it had been my plan to steal the money, she'd have sniffed me out. That just sort of happened. I learned my lesson. I feel like I'm back in my prime. Not that I'd slipped, I'm just unburdened. I owe you for that, so I thought I'd say it. And don't go making a big deal out of it. Glad I could help. Really. I've gotta hand it to you. You really surprised me. You're not what I would call a conventional partner in crime. But we're really turning out to make quite the team. Letting you live was one of my better decisions. Uh, I do think it's because we got all of that pesky trying to kill each other out of the way early. You and me, we're going to carve out a criminal empire, or at least accumulate one heck of a fortune. Your children's children won't know what to do with it. I'm telling you, wild space is the limit.